Previously on Alan Wake, Agent Nightingale got taken by the darkness, and now me and Sarah okay, have to escape. You should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Oh, what's upstairs? The keys aren't upstairs, Wake. I'm just I just want to look. I'm a curious little kitty cat. I want to look. Ambush! What the heck was that? Oh, a box! There's goodies! See? It's always good to check. Bow, da, 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 da. Old Godzilla was hopping around. Tokyo City like a big playground, then the suddenly Batman burst from the shade. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. And hit Godzilla with a back grenade. No, not going in that room. No way. Actually, I have a flare gun. Damn it! Didn't want to use that. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, oh, sissy. Ooh! I spoke too soon. Ooh. Wait a minute. How many, how many shotgun to... Yeah, there's more ammo than that, so yeah, keeping it. Locked. Flare. Flareon, I choose you. Keys. Wait. Box of goodies. Oh, sweet. It's Thomas the Tank Engine. Okay, Sheriff. I got the keys. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh no, the magic school bus! Barry! He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. The storefront's locked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. You ruined my childhood. I thought the magic school bus was safe. I learned science. Now I learned fear. Come on, Magic School Bus! I remember this old game I had on the PC that was Magic School Bus. Um, oh god. Like, you go to each planet, I guess, and then you find enough tokens to go to the next planet. Oh yeah, like, the plot was that Miss Frizzle was trapped on one of the planets, and you had to get tokens to save her. Like, you didn't know what planet she was stuck on, but you had to find which planet she was on. And it was kind of like platforming. And each planet varied, like, on the, like, you could go on the moon. And if you were on the moon, you had a high amount of gravity. Keep it the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry, Doc. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over Deerfest. 
I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wait. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. But the bookstore? They don't have donuts at the bookstore. Except Barnes and Nobles, which I love. Thank you, Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> They're really taking it. What page? So as I was saying about the Magic School Bus game, like if you were on the moon, you would have high, you would have a low amount of gravity upon you, which means you could jump higher. Like you could jump four or three screens high. That was so cool. And then on the later planets like Jupiter and Saturn, since the gravity is more higher, you had a less ability to jump, and they gave you the option to use a jetpack, which is nice. I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. And I would shit my pants every time I found Miss Frizzle. Because it's random. She appears randomly. It's crazy, like. If you get like the tokens, like, there will be three questions next to the planet, or three clues. And I guess if you answer all three clues to that planet. And if it's the right planet, she pops up. And I would poop my pants every time. I don't know, I miss all those old PC games. Like in the 90s, and my child. <gasps> Demon Wagon! It's following me! Hey, swing set! Yeah, I miss the old PC games like Spy Fox and Pajama Sam. Those were the. Those were the shit. I love those games. Freddy Fish and Putt Putt. But I think Spy Fox was my favorite. But it's sad, like, the company, I think their name is Homologous. Yeah, I think they retired. It's sad to see them go, but. You know what? If I want Spy Fox, I'll just play the old games. It was so cool, like, Pajama Sam, like... I never realized until years later that the voice of Pajama Sam is the same voice for Spinelli in Recess. Which is another great cartoon. Loved Recess. <laughs> I like how the kindergartner kids are like... A reenactment of an African tribe or something. And like the fourth graders... Or like the kings of the recess. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Physical labor. Let's take a break. Yeah, and like the king of the recess. He was on this jungle gym that's like 50 stories high. I'm like, why can't we have those? I would love a recess like that. Like, let's see, there is TJ Detweiler, who was the leader. And then there was Vince, who was the athlete. There was Mike, who was the big guy. And then there was Gus. He didn't show up until, like, a few episodes later, I think. And then there was, um, yeah, there was Spinelli, who had, like, a badass a attitude. I forget the last girl. Was it Debbie? Was her last name Debbie? Because I forget. Stop moving! Yeah, and she was the brains of the group. You don't stop moving. I'm gonna hold you down and teabag your ass. I, I mean... Seriously. Hold still. In the name of the law.
Seriously, what was her name? Was it... I feel like it was Debbie, but it was not. Wait, was it Gretchen? Okay, it's open. I really think Let's it was go, Gretchen. Wait. I could be wrong. 